Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of One Minute Synthesizer Reviews. On this leg of the journey to the best polyphonic vocal synth, we take a look at what some of you might have written off as not for me when it was released. FM Synthesis had its time in the sun back in the mid 80s with the release of the Yamaha DX7, one of the most popular synthesizers of all time. While some have criticized it for its lack of tactile controls, the ability to create complex tones that were out of the reach of analog synthesizers was its trump card. Today, the DX7 and FM Synthesis may not be as glamorous as, say, a Roland Juno 106, but ultimately I think the DX7 was a definitive synth of its time. So with that little bit of history out of the way, can Korg's bite-sized brittle beast bring back the bounty of FM Synthesis to the masses? Well, let's find out, because this is the Korg Volca FM. The Korg Volca FM is a three voice, six operator, digital frequency modulator synthesizer providing 32 distinct FM algorithms. Along the top of the unit, you have the power button as well as a nine volt wall adapter input. You'll have to order this adapter separately and I absolutely suggest you do. The Volca FM can run off of batteries, but it takes six, that's right, six batteries to power the unit. So make sure you turn it off after use, though there is an auto power off after four hours if enabled. Over to the right, you have the five pin DIN MIDI, which is nice. This allows you to play the Volca FM from an external keyboard, though I would have liked to see a MIDI over USB input, but maybe that's asking too much. Lastly, we have the sync in and out, and finally, the eighth inch mini jack for headphones or an output for recording. At the top middle of the unit, you have the display that shows a selected program name. You can change this by turning the program knob. Here we have programs such as BR Asses, Upside Down A R and B Ass, GL Ass Pad, to name a few. Below the program knob, you have the algorithm knob. This selects the operator algorithm for the FM sound engine. A quick note on FM synthesis and the terminology used. In its simplest form, FM requires two oscillators. One oscillator, the carrier, is the one whose output we hear. The other is called the modulator and is not heard directly. Instead, its output is used to modulate the frequency of the carrier. A basic FM synth has at least four oscillators. Many instruments have six or more. Typically, each oscillator is paired with its own envelope generator, which controls the oscillator's output amplitude. The oscillator and generator together are called an operator. On the left of the Volca FM, you have the transpose and velocity slider. These work as expected, though in edit mode, the velocity slider affects the value of a multitude of parameters. Below the display, you have the modulator, carrier, and LFO sections. At first, the modulator and carrier sections can be confusing, but for what it's worth, just try to remember that what I said earlier. The modulator affects the sound you hear, and the carrier is the audible sound. So think of the attack and decay as the envelopes for these respectively. Here's an example so you can understand a little better. The LFO section is pretty standard, with the rate knob affecting the speed of the LFO and the P-depth knob affecting the amount. The LFO can be triangle, saw up and down, square, sine, and sample and hold. Pressing the edit button and then turning the program slash parameter knob will give you access to a multitude of sound shaping under the hood. Honestly, you'll need more than just the user manual to understand what all this means, but trust me, there is a ton of stuff you can affect. Next, the two octave switches select either three octaves up or three octaves down, as well as select the chosen operator when used alongside the edit button. On the touchpad keyboard itself, you have a few options for shaping your sound, starting on the left with the voice mode set. Action. Here you're able to choose between polyphonic, monophonic, and unison. Pressing and holding the function button and selecting the appropriate key will make your selection. Next to the voice mode section, you have the ability to add a chorus effect to your sound. Now, while it's nothing amazing, it definitely adds a bit of vintage depth to your sound. 
To the right of the chorus button, you have the arpeggiator on and off button, and the type and division knobs control this. Type selects the kind of arpeggiator from off to rise, fall, and random. The division knob selects the clock divide and is affected by the tempo knob. Okay, now for the sequencing capabilities of the Volca FM. First off, I suggest you listen to the pre-programmed sequences to get a feel for what the Volca will look like when playing back a sequence. Do this by pressing and holding the memory button, and once the lights on the touchpad light up, select a corresponding key by pressing it, then press play. You'll see lots of knobs light up red. This means they're affected the sequence at the times they flash. You can adjust these by simply pressing record, moving a knob, and then pressing the record button again. Next, let's make a simple sequence. First, press and hold the function button and press the highest G on the touchpad to clear all notes if any are active. Then press and hold the function key again and press the play button to show your active steps. Deselect all steps except 1, 5, 9, and 13. Press and hold the function button and press the key on the touchpad labeled metronome. Turn the tempo knob all the way to the left and press and hold the function button and press the quarter button on the touchpad. Now, press the record button to enter record ready and prepare to enter a four note sequence. Press a note on the touchpad to start recording your sequence. Once it's playing back, remove the metronome by pressing and holding the function and press the metronome button on the touchpad. Now you're ready to tweak to your heart's content. Finally, you can sync two or more vocals together using the sync in and out jack. Just connect the vocal that you want to be the master's out jack to the jack of the vocal that you want to be the slave's in jack, and then press play. It's just that easy. And with that being said, I give the Korg Volca FM Synthesizer my final score of eight deafened ears because the default patch is harsh as f out of 10. I won't lie, when I first got my hands on the Korg Volca FM, I wasn't having any fun. The harsh reality of what I purchased quickly set in. I searched for the filter to warm up the brittle tones, but it was nowhere to be found, so I put it down. The Korg Volca FM was an exercise in patience and remembering that what at first doesn't come easy is often the most rewarding. The Korg Volca FM is definitely not for everyone, and to truly get all you can from it, you must first be open to trying something new, and then you must become a student. Analog purists may doubt the depths of this digital delight, so I digress. Don't deny it and decide for yourself because to my ears, the Korg Volca FM can take your creative discovery into a different dimension. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And remember, if you like this content, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Instagram and Twitter so you stay up to date on all things synth related. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.